Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar with Jamie Boudreaux. In a previous episode, I showed you how to do caviar and pearls uh, using a very simple technique with homemade ingredients, gelatin and, and oil. Well, the professionals do it a different way. They use sodium alginate and calcium lactate and, and calcium chloride. And uh, the good folks at Quantro have been good enough to put all the tools and equipment and ingredients all together in one, in one case, one set that allows you to do spearification uh, to your heart's desire. So here's everything that you need and that they've given you, plus some, uh, to do this. And I have everything uh, weighed out already, uh, done on this wonderful scale. And we're gonna start off with adding some water to a beaker. And what they have here is, is an excellent magnetic mixer. So we're gonna add the stirring rod in there as well. And we're gonna, gonna get that started mixing around. And you see that it's mixing for you because I'm too lazy and I can't do it myself. So it makes your life a lot easier. Now we're gonna add some of the sodium alginate and we're gonna do this through a sieve because kind of like making gravy at home, using your flour, you just wanna dump it in there because it's gonna clump. So we're just adding it slowly through the sieve. Our pre-measured sodium alginate. And it's, as you see, it's thickening up. So I'm just gonna make it stir a little bit faster. So we have that going. Now we're gonna make, uh, obviously, Cointreau flavored uh, caviar. So we're gonna add some Cointreau. Now, if I would just add Cointreau to this, it would be somewhat clear and, and, and kind of boring. So what they decided to do brilliantly is add some gold flakes to the Cointreau. And that way you can see this lovely little gold specks in the caviar that you're gonna make. So we're gonna add that there as well. We're gonna let this stir for quite a bit. Um, you can actually pre-make this at home and let it sit for the next day or two days later, and this is still gonna make uh, beautiful caviar for you. Uh, what you need to do is just give the sodium alginate time to absorb all the liquids and do its thing. So we're gonna let it stir for, for a little bit. And I'm gonna get the scale out of the way as well. So this has been stirring for several minutes now and I think it's pretty much good to go. So I'm just gonna stop the stir and take out the stirring rod because I'll need that for the, for the next part. And they give you this wonderful magnetic rod to help you get out your stirring rod without getting all goopy. I'm gonna clean that off. And we're gonna start with the next part. So this is gonna be your caviar. This part right here is what I like to call the stove. This is what's gonna cook your caviar and have it retain its shape, it, it's, its little round balls. And all that's happening is the calcium in here is reacting with the, with the alginate, the sodium alginate over there, and it's just causing it essentially to cook. So it's, this is nice and simple. We're gonna put the rod in here again so I don't have to do any of the stirring. And this is just water. And we're adding in some of the calcium lactate Calcium lactate, I find, is actually better than calcium chloride because calcium chloride tastes quite horrible and you have to absolutely make sure to rinse everything out off. Uh, calcium lactate doesn't taste as bad, so it's, it's, it's a little easier. I'm just gonna let that stir until everything's good and dissolved. Now we're going to take out the stirring rod. And so what we have now is our stove and our food. Now they've made it really easy. Um, typically to do this, you would have to do one drop at a time and, in, and as it drops, it hits the water, the water cooks it, it, it forms your ball. Uh, they've made a, a really neat, fun little shaker system where as you can see, you can do several at a time. And so that makes it very easy to do if you're doing you know, hundreds, thousands of these uh, in this busy bar. So all we're doing is throwing this into here Really as simple as that. I'm gonna let these sit and then we'll make a cocktail. So we let the caviar sit in the calcium lactate bath for a little bit and I've strained them out of the solution. Uh, and what we have here is, are these wonderful little balls of, of golden caviar. And a simple way to use this beautiful Cointreau caviar is 
just pour a little bit of champagne. And then for some visual fun and nice little pops of flavor, add your golden caviar. And what better way really to spend New Year's Eve than with something fun and exciting like that. Look at those dance. If you're wondering why my champagne bottle's like this, watch our episode on savoring. There you have it, Cointreau caviar. Mm -hmm.